Welcome to At The Movies with Marty Scorsese. I'm Martin Scorsese, and uh, we're not at the movies right now. I'm actually home. I, I just finished a wonderful uh, bowl of pasta, sort of an angel hair pasta with little veal cutlets, and it's something my mother taught me to make when I was very young and growing up here in New York. Oh, you know who I am, and you know why I'm here. I'm here to talk about fucking True Grit, and I didn't see the original version, and I didn't see this version, and the reason is it didn't have anything that I require of a, of a cinematic experience. We're going to discuss today uh, the remaking of True Grit by the Coen Brothers. Uh, it's pretty, a wonderful film, remake of the 1968 version starring John Wayne. I would like a pet monkey in that movie and just had it take place. And another thing, a big jar of batteries. Uh, instead of perhaps setting it out west, uh, I would have perhaps set the movie more in New York in that area, perhaps Brooklyn and Queens. If you look at it here, it's just a spatula. But you put that in Dennis Hopper's hands and have him go on a two-week cocaine binge then you've got a movie right there. And in this case, I would have casted my mom as sort of a, a maybe the woman who, who ran the bed and breakfast and cooked spaghetti for the cowboys uh, before they went out on their various journeys and they'd come back at the bed and breakfast and she would be making spaghetti and, and nice dinners for them and cooking for them at all hours of the night and just being able to advise them maybe even on how to go about killing these people and these Indians and these bad people. I came to the cinema from painting. So I would start with a nice painting. So you'd show me a painting of a rabbit having sex with a dog. Another thing I would have done is would have brought in more characters, sort of made it more of an ensemble piece. Uh, maybe the townspeople could have been more helpful and just had a whole posse of people. I was thinking of bringing in a Sally Baggs character, maybe sort of a, could have been part of Cogburn's posse and he would have been played by Frank Vincent. Uh, much more of a, a Johnny Roast Beef type law person could have also been brought in, sort of a whole cadre of, uh, of lawmen who would have been sort of these overweight Italians who knew how to carry weapons and, 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 and do what they had to do to bring, to bring a, a, a certain person to justice, sort of their own type of justice, uh, sort of street just New York justice. Was it a dream within a dream or was it two lesbians in the Old West having sex? The viewer doesn't know, they have to keep watching. Uh, would have replaced the horses with Cadillacs. People think hair is gross the minute it leaves the human body. Not to me, that's a starting point. I would have uh, would have changed a lot of things, you know, more violence, more New York, more Italian, more food probably in that movie. But other than that, the Coen brothers did a tremendous job and certainly the film was worthy of uh, all that it achieved uh, this Oscar season. Do they come back from the moon or not? You don't know, because they're all doing cocaine. That's the whole point, it was a dream.